Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to Zen Tarot. My name is Julie. I'm going to do a reading for you, Taurus, for the week of October 24th. All right, let's see what's going on with Taurus Moon Oracle card. Spirit, tell us about Taurus. Take time to breathe out. Oh, love that. Okay. Take time to breathe out. Oh, and look at this. Expect powerful change. The new moon eclipse. Love this. And look at all the purples in there. Some kind of big change coming for you, Taurus. All right. What kind of animal spirit is walking with Taurus? Taurus, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. If you already have, thank you so much. All right. Animal spirit for Taurus. Oh, the cobra. Look at this. <laughs> so unrealized potential coming out for you. Something that you have been working on, possibly it's just been a hobby, but now it's really coming into the forefront and you're spending a lot more time and focus on it. Ooh, and the cheetah coming out. You're going for it. You are going for it. Look at this powerful change coming for you, Taurus. Oh my. How beautiful is that? So just take the time to breathe out. I have a feeling you're about to get very busy something creative coming in for you oh my god and the ace of water coming for you that you can't see yet so real offers coming into you offers of emotion offers of feeling coming in for you people really opening up around you oh, i love this oh this is why you've been called <laughs> call on the bottom of the deck that is 20 so spirit is calling you to do this creative project of yours it's been a hobby it's been something that you've really enjoyed doing but it has not been um, your primary money making uh, thing here but it is about to be so <laughs> it's about to come uh, you're going to be really really busy with whatever you are really good at this is some kind of creative outlet that um, you're really good at you're skilled at it Let's see. All right, Taurus, I'm going to pull your head space, your heart space, and the foundation of the reason for the reading. And then we'll pull in some clarification cards. But what are you thinking about, Spirit? What's on Taurus's mind? Taurus, what is on your mind? Oh, my God. King of Pentacles, there's your card. So, yeah, something very, very solid, something that brings you security and fulfillment, real fulfillment and loyalty. There's there's loyalty in this card too as well, or you are very loyal, which is probably more the case. Tauruses are very loyal, but look at you working on this, some kind of creative project you have, some kind of painting or writing or uh, acting, some kind of creative outlet that you uh, have always loved doing, but it was never your primary money bringing in thing. <laughs> and it's about to be so. Money is really, really going to come into focus here <clears throat> and how to create it and how to manifest. Look at this with the star energy coming into the mind space, Aquarius energy coming in here. So yeah, take the time to breathe out, heal those, those things that held you back from this creative project here. Heal whoever tried to hold you back or keep you back or um, all of those obstacles, all of those walls that you've been breaking through when it comes to this creative project, the, the, uh, the determination that you have has been incredible here, Taurus. This is meant to be, uh, Spirit has ab absolutely connected, reconnected you with this creative project here. Ace of Cups, two Ace of Cups right off the bat. Taurus, this is so fulfilling. This lights up your heart. You know exactly what I'm talking about. There's no guesswork here. If you're watching this video and you're like, well, yeah, I do love to get up and um, meditate and do healing work, and then I go to work. So whatever it is that you can't wait to get up and do because it gets you ready for the day in your real life, in your real job, that's the project they want you to focus on. That's the outlet they want you to focus on. There's something there that is so heart fulfilling for you and really makes your dreams come true when it comes to money as well. So Oh my God, the nine of cups. Look at this two nine of cups showed up and two ace of cups. This is so fulfilling for you. This is a dream come true, Taurus. This is everything you've wanted uh, forever, forever. Something you've been working on 
uh, you just always had it in the back of your mind. It was always there, but it was like, yeah, but I can't do that. I can't do that. That's not me. There's so many people that are better than me. And you just never thought it was you that was the chosen one to do this, but you have a very unique way of expressing yourself when it comes to your creativity. You're very skilled at something and spirit is shining a spotlight on and it's like they've lit you up here. I can see the spotlight on Taurus here with uh, right after some kind of massive healing too. So you're ready for this. You're absolutely ready for this. All right, what's in the heart space for Taurus? <laughs> How exciting is this? Ooh, you're going to be big. You're going to be really, really big at it. You're going to be recognized for this, whatever this is. Definitely take the time to meditate and contemplate this idea. Really focus on it. Now, it's like your focus hasn't been on it yet. Now you need to put yourself in this bubble and make this happen. You need to cut out any frivolous things going on in your life or any kind of procrastination because you think that this is not meant for you or this is something for other people to do. You don't uh, it's something to do with your creativity. So some kind of screenplay or writing project, something that gets your voice out there. Spirit is really calling you to focus on that right now because you're in some kind of new state here where it's being downloaded into you. You're in some kind of receiving state. That's what it is. And this Cobra showing unrealized potential here, it's just unrealized to the rest of us. So you have something very special going on here, Taurus, and it's about to be revealed to the world. You just have to um, do it. Just don't be afraid to go down this path here. King of Swords in your heart space. So magic, magic coming through once again for Taurus, but you had to battle for it. You had to really fight for this. So I feel like people have been telling you, that it's not going to make money or you're not going to be able to make it or that's lightning in a bottle and too hard it's too hard to do that and you've had to really really fight for this um, idea of yours so you kind of put it out there you didn't want to be um, taken too seriously because of the feedback you were getting from it so you kind of joked around about it with something like yeah i'm going to go off and um be a starving artist somewhere and people were like yeah right and now you're really thinking you know what i think i am going to do this <laughs> and it comes after some kind of great healing moment for you some kind of um really powerful healing that came in so something really really hard that you had to fight determine uh use your determination to really get through it was almost like you put your head down and you just went you just survived it and it brought you so much strength to really pull this project forward or this um, skill that you have forward. It's a craft is what I'm seeing, some kind of craft that you have. And there's some things that you have to walk away from to do that. It, it feels bittersweet because you're saying goodbye to some things, but you're saying I'm ready for other things. So it's, it's, um, it's just some things have to be left behind here. Some things that you've been using to procrastinate getting going with this skill here is you're going to have to say goodbye to that. So maybe that's not such a bad thing, saying goodbye to those things that have helped you procrastinate this. And it was divine timing. I'm seeing that now with the star card here. It was all in divine timing. So yeah, don't, don't feel like it's too late or you should have done this earlier or you should have followed your gut earlier on this. It was all in divine timing. And in fact, you had to experience something here to be able to get to the other side of this and to, re to use it in the skill that you have to be able to bring it forward for people to understand and resonate with you. So yeah, everything for purpose here, Taurus, and this especially here. Look at the emperor coming through too. You really bossing up, you handling this now. I think you're strong enough now. Maybe there was too much going on. There was a lot of chaos in the past here that really held you back from the skill that you have. And you had to really fight for it. It was like not acceptable or not, uh, mainstream for sure by any means so now you're just bossing up and you're really standing in your true authentic self here saying you know what it doesn't have to be it, it's it feels good to me it makes me feel like I have purpose here and, and it means something to me so if you're feeling that way and you are then you're feeling like it could mean something to other people as well and it, it does it will <laughs> what else in the heart space for Taurus very interesting I love this it's like a, a star in the making or a, I don't know, something big though, something that's going to bring you um, 
a lot of followers for sure. People really need to hear or see or, or touch or smell or taste whatever you're doing here. Eight of Swords, don't get up into your head here, Taurus. Don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt your skills. Don't think, you know, I feel like you're comparing it to something else that's out there because that's more mainstream and maybe you'll go that route. But whatever you're doing, it's that unique that you have to keep going forward with the way you're doing it. So there is no comparison with others. This is very unique what you're doing here, what you're creating here. This is primarily coming from you. So that's why there's really no one else to compare it to. It's very unique. So get out of your head with this doubt of um, it's just, it just doesn't exist though. It's just no one does this. Who's going to care about this? Who's going to even want to um, be involved in this and you're just doubting this, but spirit has called you to do this, to bring this into your life's journey here. So you can't ignore that and you won't. Oh my God. And look what it brings you Taurus with the ace of pentacles. Look at these aces, these new beginnings, these new ideas coming to you, but this is a gift from God. This is the reward for standing on your own, for being the on the leading edge of this, whatever this is for you. You're, you're really um, paving the way here. You're you're, um, you're uh, inventing something here that's brand new and the collective is really waiting for this. I don't know if you know this, <laughs> but yes, you are on the edge of something really big here with this, with the skill that you have. It's some kind of skill that you were born with. Oh my God. And look at the fame coming to you for this. There's going to be many, many people listening to this and resonating with you and really looking up to you and saying, wow, Taurus, Taurus has it all figured out. Look how, look at that. How did they get there? They want what you have, but they don't know what you know. And it was primarily the experiences you went through to get you there. Like you had to experience some hardship here. You had to experience some of these lower vibrational experiences in order to feel like you're going to feel this, this, um, awakening that you're having within you that, um, it, it's just so joyful. I, I can just feel it bubbling up this, this, uh, accomplishment, this sense of accomplishment, especially for how hard you've had to fight for this Taurus. It, it's absolutely incredible. Look at the queen of swords coming out in your foundation. This is you battling. This is you done with the battle. Now your sword is down. Now you're no longer fighting for your stance here or fighting for your skill here or trying to justify why you need to do what you're doing. There's no more justification for you. You're done with it, justifying anything. You're, you just know and you know when you know and you just know. So you are moving forward with something that not a lot of people um, know how to do, know how to do. So, wow, that is very, very cool. But look at you preparing for your future with the three of wands here. <laughs> See how it's different though. You see how it has all these, the sky is pink and the ocean is pink and there's just this off kilterness to it. There's this difference to it for sure that she is seeing. She sees very clearly what's ahead of her. She sees that she's waiting for something to come in. She's waiting for the waves to come in is what it is, but, and which is what you're doing as well too. But you have this, this uh, different look on something. You have this different skill that other people don't have. You have this talent that um, spirit has given you forever. You were uh, obviously came here with this talent, but you just kept pushing it aside. You just kept thinking, oh, that's not going to do me any good. Yeah, that's fun to show, you know, talk about it, parties, but it's not, it's not going to go anywhere. It's, it's, it's just so interesting. I can't wait to see what this is for you. You've got to leave me a comment. Let me know what this is, but it's really, really big and it's coming for you hard hard. Look at these nines, nine of pentacles, nine of cups, not you reaching for it. You just moving forward. Now you're, you're parting the ways of, uh, the, the mainstream and you are, uh, creating this whole new path here, this whole new way to, to do something here. So, wow, it's beautiful. I just can't wait for you to feel this stardom that's coming for you. This feeling of accomplishment, this feeling of I got through it. I survived. And not only did I survive, now I'm thriving from this. I'm just, I'm going all in on myself here. I'm going all in on my skill here and my, my talent. 
<laughs> beautiful oh and you have archangel michael here with you with temperance i love that so sagittarius coming in and to really balance things out now now you're looking for the balance in it now you don't want these ups and downs you don't want this roller coaster ride anymore you don't want it to go from uh, feast or famine when it comes to relationships and connections and feeling fulfilled and feeling like you've accomplished something so now you're just on this straight trek to it you're just um, going for it you are determined to go for it wow 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 what kind of energies are coming into you oh my this is beautiful this is a uh, star in the making really is what this is you're going to be really uh recognized <laughs> people are going to recognize you that's the truth so if you're thinking that you're in this little bubble that nobody recognizes you nobody knows your name nobody knows who you are that is about to change taurus so be prepared for this be very very prepared for this because uh people are uh wanting to meet you look at this with the two of cups partnership coming in merging of energies coming in people really want to get together with you people uh, want to now all of a sudden you're going to have more friends than you know what to do with that's hilarious you're not going to have enough time to even devote to the people who have been there all along but you know what you will you will you're not going to forget the people who were there for you when you were going through things and so that will always be look at the high priestess look at this energy coming at you spirit is really really using you as a vessel now to get this um creative project out there to get this song out there it really is feels like a song like it's harmonics it's vibration it's something that um kind of em emanates from you is that a right way to say it like something especially with strength coming out here leo energy coming out on the star the two major arcana together here it's some kind of vibration that comes from you and it goes out there and and people just pick up on it for some reason they just tune into it and they hear you they hear you from very far away so god that's just beautiful and it allows them to lay down their own burdens too when they hear you when they when they feel your vibration there's something about your vibration eight of wands very very fast your dreams coming true very fast energy coming in at you this is going to happen really quickly so it's like you're this overnight success after you know 10 years <laughs> of working you become this overnight success king of wands look at these solid offers coming into you wow solid solid inspirations coming into you king of swords look at this there's people around you that are really going through something and um you're devoting some time to them you're helping them with this vibration of yours you've managed to change your vibration here and people are resonating with you but what's happening is when you're singing this song or writing these words or um i don't know what it is it's opening people up to trigger them so they might come at you they might say um, they don't like that because it's triggering to them to open up and to release these emotions of grief and fear and sorrow. So you're really, really helping people to process this kind of grief and sorrow around you, especially. So your family, your friends, you're, you're this open vessel for them to really be able to process. You don't judge them when they're, when they're uh, raw and crying in front of you, when they're spilling their stories uh, you, you you're not judging them at all because you at some point in your life have been through something similar what they're telling you so you just are a, a great healer you really are a great healer queen of swords look at this i love this messages offers clear communication coming to you so boy people are really going to be resonating with this vibration that you are emitting here it's really incredible i'm i'm in awe of this um change of vibration here it's really it's really uh, great it's beautiful nine of cups more wishes fulfilled you you are bringing resolution to people you're bringing closure to people you're you're bridging gaps between people with this song and i'm just going to call it a song because that's what it feels it's a vibration it's a it's a it's a uh, a uh, energy being emitted by you that spirit has put through you You're like this open channel this open um, vessel but offers 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 coming to you people love this they love you they love you and they want more two of wands more preparation now they're planning for you now they want you to come to their town they want you to come to their school they want you to come 
uh, be with them because they, when you're with them, it, it uplifts them and, and uh, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Knight of Swords, messages coming to you. It, it, it's really interesting, all of the messages and offers coming to you very quickly. Justice, victory coming to you, Libra energy. So I see that this is kind of like a solo journey for you, even if you're in a relationship, even if you've been in a long-term relationship, you've been on this kind of solo journey to um, accomplish this talent that you have, the skill that you have, you've been working on it. I don't know if you've had to go up against your partner with this. Your partner may have been saying, um, that's just fairy tales, that's just dreams, that'll never work. So, Because I feel like you've had to fight for this. So that's very interesting, but you are on a solo journey. You should look up your life path number and see if you're a number one, because you are on a solo journey here to accomplish something very, very big for yourself. So that is uh, fascinating. That is absolutely fascinating because you are, uh, you are strong. I don't know if you realize how strong you are from what you've gone through and the experiences that you have overcome. Wow, Taurus. Wow. Oh my God, the magician too. Look at all the major arcana. Something big is right around the corner for you, Taurus. I mean, I'm talking life-changing. This, this is going to change your life. The moon. Look at these major arcana. Oh my God. And we end it with the fool. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> wow, Taurus whatever you're skilled at, whatever it is that, that really gets you excited and really sparks your enthusiasm, gets your passion going, gets your, um, what gets you talking in a room, gets you fired up. That's what I'm talking about. You take that, you take that skill and you use it to change the world because this is amazing, but you're about to get very popular, very, very popular. You're going to have people really wanting to get to know you and feeling like they do know you. That might be a little jarring for you because they do kind of feel like they know you, but um, that's what happens when you get this this big. So congratulations. Congratulations. Seven of swords on the bottom of the deck. I really feel like you're leaving behind just this great, great a uh, horrible time for yourself. Yeah, look at this. Look at this with the seven of swords, the four of wands and the 10 of swords. Some some kind of home battle over this skill. Like it just wasn't um, believed in. Nobody believed in this, but you, you just kept believing in this. So that's why you weren't expressing it to everyone around you because uh, you just kept the faith. You just kept the faith. <laughs> All right, Taurus, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like, share and subscribe button. If you'd like a personal reading, my email address is in the description box below. I hope you have a fantastical week and I will definitely tune in soon.